Hi everybody! So, in case it wasn't obvious from my last video, I'm finally back and it feels so nice to be back. I didn't go anywhere warm on my trip. If I did, I definitely have a tan, but I'm as pale as ever. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to thank those of you who have, you know, um, followed me on Twitter and liked me on Facebook. I have about what, 10, 20 people, <laughs> which is more than I expected. So thank you so much. I will try and be as interesting as possible. Um, but the purpose of this video is I wanted to show you this quick ribbon corset that I made. I actually um, cut out the pattern for it several months ago and then I sort of lost all the pieces of ribbon and I found it again under a humongous pile of a bunch of other fabric in my sewing room and then I basically had a marathon yesterday and I finished it off so here it is and I would be modeling it for you right now but my weight has fluctuated quite a bit in the past couple months so it's actually too big for me which is kind of yay and boo um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this corset, I might just keep it in my collection or I might um, sell it off. It, it sort of depends, but it's just a, a quick, quick corset. So this is the second ever ribbon corset I made. The first one was a red one. I made a photo vlog about that, so if you want to see the video, I'll put it up here. Um, I did not like that pattern at all. I don't think it fit me very well, but I didn't um, test out the pattern by draping the, the paper on my actual body or on another corset first, um, whereas I did that with this one, which is why the fit is so different. But I do like how this one turned out. I think the, the drape is quite nice. It is a little bit plain on here. I would like to um, jazz it up a little bit, maybe add a bow or something for interest. Um, I wanted to show you some parts of it. So as you can see, I've been practicing inserting the busk so I can make you a nice video. And um, you can see on the sides here, the ribbons are not actually attached to one another. Um, they're horizontal panels and they're just overlapping, but they're all um, separate from each other. They're only joined at the vertical panels here. So I had um, lined only the vertical panels with couture and I put the bones in between those. And I only did that for the side or for the front, the side and the back here. And in the back I have 26 tight double zero grommets because that's what the um, antique um, pattern called for. And speaking of the pattern, I got the pattern in this book here. It's called Corsets and Crinolines by Nora Waugh. Um, it's quite well known in the corset makers community and um, it just it goes through a lot of history. It uh, has a lot of collections of um, people's writings and um, journals and newspaper articles about corsets and crinolines and hoop skirts and stays and farthingales etc. Um, I will be doing a review on this book later on. So that's about it for this video. It's just a really quick update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, keep sending me all these awesome messages and requests and everything. I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. And hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> if my um, sewing machine and my camera decide to get along and both work at the same time, I will get those tutorials up someday. <laughs> um, so anyways, happy spring, you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.